We're back with another Zato guide. Let's get started. This one's going to be a bit more serious because this stuff's actually kind of dangerous right now. I've been hunting down Zato mains online to see where their skill levels are. And I hate to say it, but every single one of them has disappointed me. So here's what we're about to do now, man. I'm going to put everything you're about to learn in this video up front so you guys know what you're even watching this video for. There's no need to slow it down and pause it a thousand times because I'm about to slow it down for you in a minute anyways. Today we're doing drills on drills and I'm going to slow it down. We're going to go over each section and hopefully you guys get better. <laughs> hopefully you guys get better so I can start facing some better Zato man, you know what I'm saying? And if you play Guilty Gear, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because I'm doing guides like this for each one of Zato's specials. Yeah. Everything that Zato can do is getting its own video, and I might do your character next. So get at me. What are you doing? <laughs> also, whenever you lab Zato pressure, don't forget to go to your counterattack settings and set your training dummy to jump. Because if people can just escape your pressure whenever they want to, then it's not even real to me. Just remember I said that. <laughs> So first I'm going to explain drills because I feel like there's a lot that many have not noticed. So you get your knockdown, then you move Eddie behind the opponent on Oki, and then you start up your drills. But I just want you to count them. Count the drills. If public school education failed you like mine did, you probably had to use your fingers to count the drills. But did you notice anything about the color of the drills? Pay close attention to like the first one. You notice how it starts out peach and then it slowly gets darker to where it's going to this reddish type color. And this depends on which type of skin you're using, right? Some of the skins is gonna be all the same color too, but the paid skins, they're gonna change colors. Why do these drills change colors, but the game doesn't tell us anything about it? Well, my theory is the fourth one is an indicator for when you can cancel the fourth drill into an Eddie special. Let's you know where you are in your set of drills. Now, I don't know if this is like training wheels for Zato, but only for DLC skins or what, bro, but it, this is what happens. Once you see that fourth drill come up, all you have to do is press a button and it'll cancel into something else. So this can be good for lockdowns. By doing it this way, you don't have to quarter circle forward every time like I've seen a lot of y'all doing. Y'all could just attack and that way you could land a hit on me while Eddie is canceling into something else. Being stuck in an animation is lame. Now we're moving on to the main event, which is what I like to call the drill sandwich. Yes, I really said that. But Staya, why is it called the drill sandwich? Chill, bro. Chill. I'm gonna show you why it's called the drill sandwich, bro. Just chill. Just chill. <laughs> See what I'm doing? I'm fixing me a Kai Kisk sandwich. And it smacks. That was actually the double decker sandwich. We're not there yet. You need to learn how to make a single serving sandwich first. So this is very important. I got Milia said to jump, right? She's jump guarding me. She's jump guarding me. She's getting out of this. And she's jump guarding. Pay attention. My drills are not even finished. And she's already escaping. Look, look at this. Look at this, she's fuzzying me right here. Look at this. This is because opponents only get hit by two to three max drills on block. So if you don't attack fast enough, they will be able to get out of this. So 
So if I were you, I would just attack in between the second and third drill, so that way I don't have to like sit there and count their blocks online. I don't want to do that shit. I, I don't want to do that shit. So I attack in between the second and the third drill. That's my secret sauce. Now if you're watching my inputs like you should be, then you'll notice that I'm pressing kick right here. But I'm not doing a kick. I'm doing down dust. It may look like a kick, but I'm doing down dust. I already did the kick. It, what I, the string that I did was down kick into down dust. I'm pressing kick at the same time as my down dust is coming out, only so I can activate the drills again from Eddie, because I want them to pick her up and then bring her over to me, so that way I can hit her with my close slash. Just like Zato wishes he could in real life. I'm down kicking the down dust and I'm activating kick again once she gets hit by that down dust just so she can get carried back over to me. And then I hit her with the close slash and convert into a full combo. Of course you could go for the overhead instead of the low and still get it. You guys can do better, I'm just trying to show you, you know, the basics. Now we're moving on to the shield sandwich. Yes, we're really doing this. I don't know why I'm like this. But we're really doing this. It's the shield sandwich. To make a shield sandwich, you wait until the drills bring the opponent into your shield hitbox range. Use your shield hitbox. Eddie will get reset and sent back out. So you can cancel into a negative edged attack that will complete the sandwich. Now remember, they only get hit by two to three max drills on block. <laughs> So that's our overhead mix up for you since we went over a low for the last sandwich. Now we're going over jump blockers because people love to just jump instead of blockers when they get up. Even though Kai would just DP in this situation because the developers blessed him with a DP, we're going to go over this in case he decided to jump. Now Milia is set to jump on wake up after hit. It's not going to work for her because she's vulnerable on the frames that she's starting to jump. So even if she's trying to jump and guard me on this setup, she's going to get completely eight. She's gonna get tossed in the blender every time just for trying to escape me. And then she's gonna learn not to jump. One thing you could also do is backdash right here. You see how I'm going into this backdash? I just wanna create space to let him get hit by all these drills just in case something goes wrong. So I'm gonna backdash and just let him get this space in and then I'm gonna close slash him when he gets to this point. See, I'm gonna hit him with my close slash right as he's getting on this fourth drill, kinda like right before it. And you see Eddie's already coming in for the alley-oop, swoosh, down heavy to lift him up, and then you can firm it into your shield, which ends it. Easy, right? <laughs> You'll get it, bro. It's not that hard compared to what we're about to do next. Now we're doing ground pressure lockdowns, keeping them in place, making sure they can't go anywhere. You want to always make them feel like, you know, you can't press a button or else you're f***ing up. So you use your drills to approach the neutral and then jab to keep them locked down from jumping. If they try anything shysty, they will get counter hit if you're doing this correctly. Notice how Eddie is ready for them to make a move and he already has that thing tucked. When I release punch, Eddie is going to come and relieve my pressure so I can fly over this milia and fish for a mix up. Once again, just like Zato wishes he could do in real life. Switch over to the other side and hit her over the head with the air slash. Now if she was crouching, she would get hit by this and Eddie would come scoop her up for you. So right here I choose to go for the low, but of course you could have just went for the overhead. This is where the mind games start to get a little bit deeper because you really don't have to go for either. You could start doing some dust shit, you could just go for some grabs. You don't really know what you're gonna do. That's the best part about being Zato. The best part about this sequence is that it also works for air coverage as well. So even if she tried to jump block me, she's still not safe. No escape. Milia tries to jump and it just gets her jabbed right in the face. I have no idea how she's even blocking this. Like, bitch, are you standing or crouching? What? 
And then I choose to go for the low, opening her up and getting that combined damage. I also forgot to mention there's also a side switch you can do with this. Look, if you can jump under them and hit them like this, like bitch, how are you even blocking this? Into a side switch, into whatever you want, but that's kind of hard. But like I said, not as hard as what we're about to do next. Using the stuff I'm showing you in this video, you can come up with all types of sick setups that just confuse your opponent. They don't know what is going on. They never know when the mix is coming. Like, is the mix coming now or is it coming later? Oh, it comes early. Oh. <laughs> so for this one, I'm really negative edging. Notice how I'm holding down the punch button as soon as the animation starts for my drills. And I don't let go until I'm already in the air about to dash. This is going to keep Kai locked down on the ground while I'm free to do whatever I want in the air, but I only have a certain amount of time to get back down there. Now you're in one of the most favorable positions you can get in as a Zato main. Eddie on one side locking them down and you... Nobody knows what you're doing. No, Nobody has a clue what you even are right now. You could do an overhead, you could just do the low, you could do the low and then the overhead, you could just do the dust air combo, you could do the dust low, you could just go for the command grab, you could go for the, warm, the normal grab, or you could just fish for a counter hit. <laughs> go for the low and then the overhead. Into a Roman cancel and just get in that full combo. Beautiful. Mwah, chef, chef's kiss. I even made another setup that's even harder. Let's see if you guys can do this one. Only a few remain now. Only a few challengers stuck around this long. Let's see if you can do this one, dickhead. Same thing we've been doing before, except this time you're going to hit them with a heavy slash. But you're going to hit it behind them, where it knocks them into Eddie like this. into a scorpion mix it's really hard to do it, it, it's really hard to do like it's, it's kind of hard you can do it though here's some more free sauce and then we can both get the f out of here did you know that you can cancel your close slash into your dust move i didn't know that at first but it's especially important as a zato man because nobody knows what's happening on the screen anyways a little bit of orange glow man nobody's gonna see that shit. and that's all i have for you guys today so if you if you like the video please like and subscribe i have more zato content coming like i said i'm going to do one for every single one of zato's um, specials also, I'm doing other fighting game related content because I play every fighting game, bro. So if you're subbed, then you know me and you know I don't do outros because outros are lame. And I'm out. <laughs>